And if you have a dog that you have boarded when you're out of town, consider this. A Portland man wants to warn others about a dog boarding facility he used. K2 Susan Harding is in southeast Portland where the dog owner says he found a shock collar around his dog's neck and certainly wasn't aware it might end up there, Susan. That's right. He said he never gave his permission for this to happen. He found it right there buried in his dog's fur. The dog had been staying over here at the Safe Journey Dog Boarding Facility. It's a place that advertises itself as being crate free, where dogs are free to roam around just like they would at home. His dog Bubba recently stayed there. Well, her owner, Kyle Gilmore, told us that he's been leaving her at Safe Journey Dog Boarding in Southeast Portland for years. But when he boarded her during Christmas, he says she came home with a shock collar around her neck. He can't believe employees would ever do this, especially without his consent. I expect they would contact the people on the contact list to say, oh, you know, your dog seems really anxious, really out of control, really X, Y, Z. Um, we don't, is there something you do to calm her down or is it okay if we do this? Craig Capley bought Safe Journey Dog Boarding last April and says their home style approach usually works well, but because Bubba is a dominant alpha female, this was the only way to calm her down and avoid fights. Capley says the collars are not abusive and are only used in emergency situations. Now the dog's owner says he first realized something was wrong when he said something to his dog that usually would make her howl. Instead, she started cowering, put her tail between her legs and started to fall down, apparently in fear. Live in Southeast Portland, Susan Harding, back to you. All love our animals. We don't want them treated in a way we wouldn't be comfortable with. Susan, thank you very much.